Hi there. Today to make the most of our math block, we're going to look at sorting activities. I'm going to pick four centers out and model how to play them and what materials you'll need for each. A great book to introduce sorting is The Button Box. It's about a little boy that's going through his grandma's box of buttons and sorting them by different attributes. I like to stop on this page because it talks about some buttons have four holes. And that's what the first center we're gonna go over does. You're sorting buttons by how many holes are on them. So let me get our four centers set up and we can go through how to play our sorting activities. Math center number one for sorting is going to be sorting buttons by how many holes they have. Our mats are inside this pouch. I picked out holes two, three, and four for this activity just because the buttons that I picked from hand to mind, that's what they have. This activity has more cards if you need them, depending on which buttons you use. We'll put out the cards, two, three, four, and open up the buttons to get started. They want to count how many holes, four, so find the one that matches. Count out the next one. Keep going, you're sorting by counting how many holes. If this is during your small group, you can stop and talk about how many buttons are on each card, why they put them on the card, which one has more, just starting those discussions about identifying how many are in each category. So this is math center number one, sorting buttons. Math center number two is going to be sorting colors with fine motor practice. So the first one has hearts with the pipe cleaner matching the color and you'll put the beads on the colors that match. There are a lot of different themes in this activity. I just picked out two to get us started. This one is crayon, so I'll pull out three just to fit to show you how to play. White, purple, blue. Grab out the beads. It has the snap tops, just put it underneath. Pick them out and find what matches. So purple, find the purple one, line that up. Purple to purple. White. Match it up. It's great fine motor practice to scoot it all the way up. And then you want to continue until you found all the colors that match for the beads. So this was center number two, sorting by color. Math center number three for sorting is sorting by color, but this time we're going to be sorting our bear counters inside the pencil box. We have our color bears that we're going to be sorting. Then in the pouch are the color mats that we'll be using. These are black line masters and I printed them on different color paper just to save on that colored ink. So we have green, blue, orange, red, purple. And grab out bear counter and find which color it matches. Purple to purple, orange to orange, red to red. If this is during your small group time or you're walking around during centers, you can stop and talk about how many bears are in each category just to talk about the numbers that would match them. Orange to orange, green to green. They can continue until they've sorted all their colors. If they have extra time, they can grab dry erase boards or sticky notes and write how many in each category. So this was math center number three, sorting colored bear counters. Math center number four for sorting is sorting by shape. In the pouch, I have the mats that we'll use. I copied these onto white, so they're not paying attention to the color as much, but they're focusing on the shape on the card. So put down the mats. These go great with attribute blocks. If you wanna use pattern blocks, you can just pull out certain shapes that you won't need, or you can leave it out there and they can have zero in it as well. We have the mini erasers from the Target Dollar Spot. I got them last year and they'll just sort. Circle, circle, rectangle, rectangle, square, square, hexagon, and just continue on until you match them all. Like before, you can stop at any time, talk about how many are in each category, which one has more, which has less, just to start those math conversations. They can continue until they've sorted all of them. So this was math center number four, sorting by shapes. Once you're gathered back on the carpet, talk about the ways that they sorted during their math centers. They'll say things like, I sorted by how many holes were on the button, or I sorted by color. And you can talk about all the ways that we can sort, and you can sort at home, you can sort at school, you can sort at the grocery store. 
and ask them, why might people sort? Why is it important to sort? And it just starts that idea of people can sort by organizing or they might sort so they can know how many they have of something. Our team leads this right into counting and cardinality. So it's a great way to start organizing and keeping our tools where they need to be and it gives it a purpose for counting later. So if this was helpful to you, make sure you like it. I will link the materials I use today below and stay tuned for more videos about making the most of our math block.